morning everybody the morning coffee here on the ranch a lot of people have indicated that they enjoy uh, a morning vlog and I try to do one where possible sometimes uh, work and other things definitely interferes the best laid plans of Rosie tend to go awry a lot a few things to talk about today uh, <laughs> number one I mean I don't want to jinx it there's not a cloud in the sky I'm gonna muck it up I know I'll say something there'll be one black cloud that comes along and sits right over top of the ranch for the rest of my life and that'll be it okay but for right now there's not a cloud in the sky and a 10-day forecast shows <laughs> If it wasn't so freaking cold, yes, I would be out uh, bikini it up for sure and enjoying some of that vitamin D outside. But that ain't going to happen because we're under a freeze warning. Now, some of you probably were like, oh, um, this was supposed to be getaway day for uh, Las Vegas. Well, change of plans and other stuff came up. Just didn't feel, I, I don't know. I mean, I got to go with my feelings. Um, and I just felt like, uh, just didn't feel like running down there this time. And I think closer to February, you know, I feel it when it's time to really go. I feel great. I'm going down the road, and that's quite a bit of a commitment. It's a 1,200, uh, 1,225 mile round trip, so you better feel it, okay? You better feel it. You better um, enjoy every moment. So I need to be in the right frame of mind uh, for that. Other people see the cat video. Yeah, the cats are good. Blah blah blah. I'm not doing anything special. Uh, they're really blackbird. Uh, his he really takes care of them. Yeah, I pitch in. Yeah, I got heart. I like them. I like animals and things. Even uh, you know to a point. Not when you start to get to potentially vicious squirrels and uh, you know other things in nature and birds and stuff. Dogs and cats. Okay, I kind of understand that world, but uh, you know I don't want to lose a finger. <laughs> Nice, nice squirrel. I know how how totally uh, how totally ridiculous. So, um, as far as uh, you know, I've really cut. Down. I've really been happy. Um, how much I don't miss the beer. I cut the beer down to just um, Friday and Saturday uh, nights now. And yeah, I mean, when my brother was here, I had a. Uh, ailed it was almost like punishment <laughs> it wasn't wasn't pleasurable at all this ale but um yeah i've been surprised how easy that's been i guess i'm kind of lucky in a way i don't have an addictive uh personality when it came to just putting down cigarettes and um for the most part putting down booze but they're going back and forth that today there was an article even even a little bit of alcohol uh, even a little bit of alcohol uh, even a little bit of alcohol can, can do harm even your evening glass of red wine to which i say uh you know you got a way off living life when there ain't nobody gets out of here right we're all we know we're all headed out and it's just a question of, yeah, okay, you got to weigh off quality of life and uh, getting a little buzz on beer versus uh, living living what I call the, the straight up healthy life. And uh, okay, right. I mean, I might live another year, but I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think down below this trade off? Do you live life? Do you worry about everything? Like yesterday, I was on a real guilt trip. Stuff in my mall. I made the six muffins, the blueberry muffins. They were wonderful, fully loaded. I have one tonight of baking it. You guys are long. And then next morning by one o'clock in the afternoon, they are, those six muffins are obliterated. All right. Gone. <laughs> right. <laughs> right to there. And I started to feel guilty. Well, not really. I didn't really feel guilty. But a, a plunge once in a while I don't think does any uh, harm. They were just irresistible. I couldn't really... 
uh, help myself. So, um, fun stuff coming up. I'm looking forward to going down to the Boss and Janice with Bobby on the um, weekend. We always have a good time. Uh, down there. Let me get another sip of my coffee here. I've also gone to Great Pains recently to really clean up inside of here. I don't know if you've noticed to really get stuff organized and get rid of get rid of crap that I don't need. I don't know what it is when you get older, and I don't know if you, any of you guys have this feeling. When you get older, you just you get you suddenly you look at all the stuff you have, and I don't I don't have a ton of stuff in life, okay, that's worth anything. But you look around in life and you're thinking, wow, I got, uh, you know, you become a junk collector. Like somebody, the neighbor sat at a, a, a vacuum cleaner. Oh, shit, I got to have that, right? And I pull it into the shop and I repair it. And now I got two vacuums. I don't know why they just, I like the, I like the idea of fixing stuff. So I'm going to see if I can donate that. You just got to work the animals and be realistic. You want to get your life simplified you don't want to feel like things own you i've got enough issues here with trying to keep this property the size of it with all the uh, land and fencing and trees i mean i got a hell of a lot to do uh over here so the simpler that i can make things the uh, better this might be the year that i spring for a yard service no it's probably not going to be to it's not going to be nom Maybe it'll be to you. <laughs> I even fed the guy a damn ass shrimp fried rice sitting there smiling and uh, the guy didn't do me right. <laughs> Show up when you want, leave when you want, but make sure you get that, <laughs> make sure you have that money in hand. But uh, I'm grateful I still have the ability to um, take care of things. But uh, I don't want to end on a sour note, but I kind of broached this topic last night, and I'm working on restoring the generator outside. The carburetor got all fouled up because I didn't uh, take steps to uh, make sure the gasoline that was sitting in it was stable or whatever. But uh, uh, so I'm, I'm get, we're going to have that video coming up. That's going to be a while till that part comes. But, you know, sometimes sometimes in life you really get shocked. You try to help people out. And I had the experience of helping somebody out with a major, you know, major donation out of my own pocket because his truck was broken down and needed the heads uh, redone and uh, paid, paid the machine shop for the guy. And he's got a video on about tolerance in life and things like that. And I hope... I hope it's, I'm not blocked because I'm trans over there. But I went yesterday to give some advice on freeing up a stuck park spark plug. And despite logging into two channels, this and the Rosie Murphy channel, my, I was blocked. Couldn't put it out. And I thought to myself, wow, you know, it just try to it's just the last thing that you ever expect is when you give a part of yourself that uh okay life goes on but you don't expect when you make contact again that you're going to be blocked out of uh somebody's life and it just was really uh it jolted me yesterday it jolted me a lot it kind of kind of hurt me but i guess you guess you got to kind of get over it but uh um i don't know i mean i've done a lot to try to help uh people and for the most part it's all great and good but uh, wow sometimes stuff just makes you shake your head and go wow ungrateful um people but everybody can run their channels the way they want i got over it uh so that's the way it is yeah the, the, the power generator did a little talk on rosie murphy last night before i cooked the salmon you guys check out that uh talk about some of the things that are coming. I think the need for backup power is going to be important. So check that out. The world's getting kooky out here. And I'm going to close out my kookiness today by wishing you a great day. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for all notifications. And thumbs up are appreciated. Let me know if you're enjoying the morning vlogs down below. And tell me, I'm grateful people. Am I wrong? I don't know. Have a great day, everybody. See you later.